As I walk this land of broken dreams, I have visions of many things, but happiness is just an illusion filled with sadness and confusion. What becomes of the Okay, welcome back to Shall We Dance? My name is Steve, and this is Michelle. We are from Poise Style in Motion Ballroom Dance Studio in Shrewsbury. Today's dances are going to be the New York Hustle, which you just saw, and also at the halfway point, we're going to show you a little bit of waltz. Now, as we've done in the past, uh, we are going to start out with some of the basics. Fortunately, in the New York Hustle, there's only a few basic steps. A lot of the uh, people getting married usually use this particular dance to whatever music they're using. So. Having said that, let's begin. Gentlemen, same as always, we're going to begin with our left foot. Ladies, we're going to begin with our right foot. As we said, very easy dance here. The lady steps to the side with her right foot as the man steps to the side with his left. One. Now, the next movement we make is a tap action. We use the right foot, guys, and ladies, uh, the left foot, we take it and we tap the floor. Now, you can't see that, okay, or maybe you can. It's kind of like when you knock on a door with your hand, only you're doing this with your foot. Tap. Then you step back to the side, step, tap, and then you side and close. Okay, so the basic step will look very much like one, touch, two, touch, side, together. One, touch, two, touch, side, together. Now, when we dance it, we use a different count. We go up to six beats. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do that for you with the beats. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now the key thing here to remember is you are always going to do one through four the same in this particular dance. So you're always going to dance one, two, three, four. The thing that we will be changing will be the five and six. Okay, now before we go any further, we're going to discuss the dance hold or the dance frame. Gentlemen, with the right hand, we take it, we place it on the lady's shoulder blade. Okay, and we're going to demonstrate without contact initially, then we're going to move into the contact. Ladies, you take your arm, place it on the man's arm without putting a lot of pressure downwards because you don't want to be heavy. You want to basically feel where he's going. So if you use any resistance at all, it should be pushing outwards, okay? And then with the left hand, guys, just bring it right across. A good idea here is to bring it right across from the other side so the elbows are right across from each other. Right, and now without contact, we're both going to tone up our arms a bit and go through that basic. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six. And now the step tap count. Step, tap, step, tap, side together. Okay? So that's our basic step in the New York hustle. Now we have a few other basics for you. We have the forward progressive and the backward progressive. And as we said, we are going to continue to do the one through four throughout this whole dance. So no matter what else we do, we're going to start with one, two, three, four. Now right here, men, you have your left foot free, and ladies, you have your right foot free. Guys, we're going to progress forward as the ladies step back, so we're going to go five, six. Once we get to the five, six, we start over with one, two, three, four, and then forward five, six. Now we're going to take a backward action. One, two, three, four, and here, guys, we're going back. The ladies are coming forward. Five, six, we repeat. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, and then side together back to our basic, okay? Now the dance position we used is known as a practice hold. This is so we don't get on each other's feet. And if you're following along with us, and we hope you are, uh, what you want to do is tone up your arms, ladies. Guys, do the same. And now we're going to repeat the forward and backward basic. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Guys, make sure your left foot is free. Forward, forward. One, two, three, four. One more time. Forward, forward. One, two, three. And we're going to hold that right here. Little footnote for the ladies. When the man is going back, ladies, it's up to you to kind of keep an eye out for his back. He's just traveling blindly. So if something should get in his way, either squeeze his bicep or simply stop moving so he doesn't collide with whatever may be behind him. Okay? A little note for you to keep in mind. Now we're going to blend these three moves up with the dance position. As we discussed before, first we start with the apart position, but because this is New York Hustle, and again, it's a slower dance, you can do it to faster music though, we are going to be using some body contact. I'm going to describe that to you today. Okay? The man's right side goes to the lady's right side, essentially is how this is going to work out. So you never want to stand directly in front of your partner, because if we try to move, we're going to knock knees. If we stand a little off to her right, that makes it so her leg can move freely and my leg can move freely. Now go ahead and try this if you're trying this at home, and just kind of move sideways and make sure your partner moves with you. Now, you probably won't move like this right off the bat, and if you do, good for you. Okay, now we add the steps in, and one, two, three, four, side together. One, two, three, four, forward walk. One, two, three, four, forward walk. One, two, three, we go backwards, back, back. One, two, three, four, back, back. And I'm not concerned at all about what's behind me because I know Michelle here is looking out to make sure that I don't collide with anything, okay? Luckily, there are no other people on the floor, but if there were, she would handle that as well. Now, the next move we have for you before we move over to waltz is the lady's underarm turn. And for this, we're gonna spin it around. Remember, gentlemen, uh, the one through four remains the same. One, two, three, four. Now, on five, six, we wanna turn the lady, okay? Now, a lot of times when you're out dancing, you see the guy turn the lady, and what he tries to do, he lifts this up, and then he tries to Turn her around, okay, because it's a power thing. We don't have to go to that extreme end. All we need to do is lift the arm, and she feels the lift, and she turns. Okay, so Michelle and I will go through that with you. One through four is the same. One, two, three, four. Now we're going to lift. The lady spins, and then we have to do another side basic in order to finish properly. One more time. One, two, three, four. We lift. She turns, good, and we close, quick, quick, okay? Let's go through that individually. Ladies, follow Michelle. Gentlemen, you can follow me. I'll stand a little bit off to, the, to her right. Okay, and one, two, three, four. Right about here, guys, you're thinking about lifting the arm. Lift and lower, and then one, two, three, four, side and close. One more time, we have one, Two, three, four, lift and lower. One, two, three, four, side and close. Very nice. Now we come up to the part of the program here 
where we do the rock turn. This is a needed move for those of you going out to the holiday parties and having people all over the floor, okay? The way this looks, one through four is the same, guys. One, two, three, four. Now we want to rock forward and back, and then back to the one through four, forward and back. And as I'm going forward and back, you notice I'm turning. The reason I'm turning is, when I step forward with my left foot, I'm turning the toe out. And Michelle, for the ladies, is turning her foot in. Now we're doing just about a half a turn. It really depends on your situation. If you want to make a greater amount of turn, then you just take it a bit wider and you're able to achieve that. And you get a really kind of a nice look if you want to try the underarm. Then come out of the underarm instead of flip finishing, right, go right into a rock turn action. Okay? And this is the New York Hustle. Now, we're going to have that New York Hustle music play and we're going to just kind of talk about how this fits in with the music. Okay. When you're listening to music, most of you probably have done this. If you listen to something, you tap. At that point, you're following the beat. All we do is we take that beat and we put steps to it. So I'll bore you with counting a little bit here, and then I'll sort of quiet down and let you kind of see the steps. Five, six, and we go. One, two, three, four. Okay, we're gonna get our music back. Okay. Five, six, seven, and step, tap, step. Tap, walk. Step, tap, step, tap, walk. Step, tap, step, back walk, man. Step, tap, step, back walk. The underarm. The rock turn. As I walk this land, the rock turn again. To the basic. But happiness is just an illusion. Good. Now we'll just you dance it and I'll set up so you can see what it looks like. And confusion. What becomes of the broken hearted? Who has love that's now departed? I know I've got to find some kind of peace of mind. Hustle. Very nice. Good. Okay. Now, unlike in the previous programs, um, we are going to introduce two dances today. One of those we started with um, when we first started this show was the waltz. Okay. And speaking of the show, we are on Tuesday nights at six o'clock. I know people are watching. Uh, well, we hope you're watching. We hope you continue to watch. Uh, and if you have any comments, I think there's a phone number they can call to uh, either get a copy of the tape or make whatever comments you want to make. Okay, we'd like to hear from you. Now, we're going to go on into the waltz, and before we break it down, it's kind of a tradition of ours to dance it so you can see it, and then we'll break down some steps if we can have some. to actually showing you the dance, okay? We're gonna begin with a, something completely different and new. The first thing will be the, the hand grip, okay? Uh, since we started this, there has been some development in the hand grip department. Usually what we do here with the arm guys is we take the lady's hand outside, 
okay, and kind of squeeze her fingers together. We're going to not do that today. We're going to have her separate the hand right there with the pinky, like that, right. We're going to take our pointing finger here, oh, I'm sorry, and we're going to stick that right in there. What happens is we have less fingers to hold on to. So as a result, we have a nicer line and a nicer handhold. That's how we want to do that in the future. Can you see that? You see that? Can you? Okay. All right, you know, you can back that back up. Okay, so we have that new grip. Now, the other thing is, we pull her in, same hold as always, right hand, shoulder blade, and again, with the contact, we flex the knees, and what you may notice me do when I start off here is I always take a step back. What that does is it makes the partner come right into you, so you get a nice, solid connection, okay? Now we begin with the box step, and before we do it, uh, Together, we're going to have Michelle here do the ladies' part with the frame, and I'll do the man's part, and we'll count this out, okay? And today, we're going to start describing the footwork, which means heel-toe, toe, toe-heel, heel-toe, toe, toe-heel. Toe, toe, Again, we do one, two, three, and two, two, three, okay? So that's what it would look like if we were going to be out dancing waltz, but not together, like they do freestyle a lot of it. I'd say, you want to dance? She'd go, okay. And then we'd go, one, two, three, two, right. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is get into that dance position. And as we dance this dance, you can see us going down and up, okay? The action in the waltz is often described as the same feeling as what you get when you're on a swing. You know, if somebody pushes you, you swing up, then the momentum carries you back, and so on. When you're doing the waltz, this is the look you want, okay? If you don't do that, and we're going to purposely do it wrong or incorrect, okay? So you can see the difference. This is us doing waltz with no rise and fall, no styling really, or technique. We look very, very mechanical, okay? Now that's how most people start. What we want to do is put a little life into it. So as we dance the box step, we want to lower and rise. All right. Lower and rise, and then work in a thing called sway. So this is the correct way. This, this is wrong. You don't want to do this, okay? All right, so wrong, and then finally right. All right, now, what Michelle and I are doing here is we're taking the box step, and we're turning it. And the way we do this, guys, when you step forward, you take your left foot, and you want to step forward and turn that foot out a bit, and then side and close. While you do this, the lady, of course, is stepping back and turning her foot in, and side and closing, okay? Generally, we do up to a half a turn, okay? Um, you can do less if you want. It's really up to you. So one more time with the box step. We go left, two, three, right, two, three, left, two, three, right, two, three. And that's the box. Now. When you're out dancing, you're going to need to know some of the basic rules of ballroom dancing. For example, in the smooth dances, the tango, the foxtrot, the waltz, there's a, an understanding among people who can dance that these dances travel around the floor counterclockwise. So if you're out dancing, try to adhere to that particular rule. It's comparable to driving against traffic, okay, for dancers. I know it's not quite that severe, but you really do want to try to get it to go that way. So the step we're going to give you to do this is called a progressive step. And all it really is is two half boxes forward. Michelle here will step back with her right as I go forward and side together. And there we have half a box. Now I'm going to go forward with my right as Michelle goes back with her left. And you can see now we're starting to move. Okay? And I'm going to take this in the direction that you should be moving in when you go out and dance a waltz which is around the room counterclockwise, okay? Now, that's how we do that, okay? What we were going to do for you is give you, start to work on a little routine. So you're not just going to learn individual steps. In the future, you'll learn entire little dance routines. Michelle and I are going to put together the box step, turning, and then we're going to do four basic traveling moves. Here we go. So we start with our turning box. One, two, three, Two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Now, right here, I'm going to start my progressive uh, basic. One, two, three, two, two, three, 
three, two, three, four, two, three. Now we're going to review that, and then we're going to add another piece to our puzzle. So we have our turning box. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four. Now the progressive basic. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Very nice. Now we're going to put on the fancy move for the day. Uh, we're going to do an underarm turn. I'm going to get into shadow position with Michelle here. She's going to do two developes and a free spin. And you're all saying, yeah, right, okay. This is essentially what we just, well, what I just said. Looks like this. Michelle will go through. I'll overturn and catch her. This is shadow position. And she'll go forward. This is that French word. Again. Now she'll spin out. And out we go. Okay, take another look at it. I'll just count the tempo this time. One, two, three, two, two, three, three, two, three, four, two, three. Notice the graceful use of the arms and legs. Again, she rolls out. And we're back to our box, okay? Now you're saying, sure, that looks nice, but how can we do that? Well, we'll show you, okay? Gentlemen, we start off with half a box forward. Now we all know what that is, right? One, two, three. Now to turn the lady, we learned in the New York Hustle just a few minutes ago, all we need to do is lift the arm. So as we do our back box step, we lift and the lady gets the message that we want her to turn. Three. Now, right about that point, she thinks we're going to just finish. But what's going to happen is I'm going to lower my arm and I'm going to turn or give her kind of a lead so she gets over to my right side. Now that you'll have to do probably about five, six hundred times before it starts feeling good. Okay, we've already done that today. So we're going one, two, three. We lift. Now right here we push and then guys, we have to catch the woman on our right side and leave the same foot free that she has free. That would be our left. Let's try one more time. We do. One, two, three, two, two. Three, I step and hold and wait for the lady. Now we go into boxes, half boxes. We both do these. One, two, three. The man will step back and do a hesitation as the woman steps back and does a developé. One, two, three. The developé ladies can take all three beats. Then we repeat. One, two, three. One, two, three. And now the ending is he hesitates as she spins. One, two, three. Three, one, two, three, and out. Okay, enough said on that. Let's dance it and then group it together with our other moves. So, basic step, man lifts, brings the lady around, catches her, forward close, develop A, develop A, the roll action, the box and the completion of the move. One more time. The underarm turn. Throw catch. Develop A. Develop A. She rolls. And out. Very nice. Good. Now, let's group it all together so we have, we have that routine we talked about, okay? We're going to start with our box step, go into our progressive, then we're going to do this uh, fancy move here, okay? And we're going to try without the music. Here we go. Box. Progressive. Fancy move. Very nice. Okay. Now we
Very nice. Now, before we wrap things up, we want to remind you again, we're on Tuesday nights, 6 p.m. Next week's dance will be the... Tango. Tango, okay. Next week, we're going to do the tango. Uh, before we wrap it up, we want to wish everyone a happy holiday, as it is the holiday season. If you're going out, remember to uh, stay safe, do a lot of dancing, very little drinking. Uh, we want to thank the people here that come in week after week to help us out with filming this. And right now, we're going to wrap up, I believe, with some dancing. But before we do that, I think we've got enough time to do one more step. Got time for one more step? Okay. Last step. Won't get a chance to uh, break it down. Here's what it's going to look like, okay? One, two, three. I turn Michelle around. Two, two, three. We do a little stretch move. A little stretch move. A little run. And a little syncopated spin. Ooh. And once again, we go. One, two, three. We roll. Stretch. Stretch. Running action. She rolls and spins. And I think we can finish up with dancing. Thank you for joining us.